but let me teach the ones that the Lord has brought here. I want you to know God is going to give you that hidden manna. Things that he has not given to people publicly, the Lord is releasing into your spirit privately. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. I have to keep coming back and teaching you the word. And uh, I have witnessed that this, this, what we are feasting at is an endless food on this table. So what I want you to do is you have to now make that part of your life. That's the critical part of it. Not just hear it. So please back to the gospel of Luke chapter 10 verse 39. Are you there? And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. She had a sister who did what? who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. This is the testimony of a Jesus lover. But I'm going to clarify a few things. We've been talking about her for the last three, four days now. But I want to take you to a different zone today. This is the testimony of Mary. You're seeing her coming to the feet of Jesus and sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to him. She sat at the feet and listened to his voice. And I talked to you about Martha who was busy serving in the kitchen. And I told you her busy serving in the kitchen was not the issue. That was not the issue. Look at your neighbor and say, her serving in the kitchen was not the issue. The issue was then what? That she was distracted serving Jesus. In her serving, she should have still listened to his voice. And then I told you how Mary could sit at the feet of Jesus and still be distracted. So it is about, not about the location, it is about the posture of their heart. You see, many people, they will always talk about your success. But they don't know there was a season in your life that you were behind the scenes serving unto the Lord. If Martha did not do what she had to do, Mary would never enjoy sitting at the feet of Jesus. It is because of people like Martha that Mary can receive what she is about to receive. But today, we are coming into a generation where we don't like the idea of serving. We like being served. But you cannot serve and, 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 and not keep your eyes on the Lord. That's very critical. In your serving, don't be distracted. In your serving, what? Yeah, because this is not serving the way you serve in your workplace. It's not the way you serve when you, when you work for your uh, uh, ungodly boss. When you serve in the body of Christ, your eyes must remain on Jesus. Something about that accelerates you to the feet of Jesus. Okay, very critical for us to understand this. Those that work for the Lord, those that work for the Lord, there is a greater position 
a greater place that God has for them. God has for them. Okay. Let me give you a verse. Go to the gospel of Mark chapter 3 please. Mark chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. And he went up on the mountain and called to him those whom he desired. And they came to him. And he appointed twelve whom he also named apostles so that they might be with him and he might send them out that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach. So I want you to understand, this is the heart of Jesus. This is the heart of Jesus. This is something that I want you to get into your spirit. The manner in which God wants to function. He wants us us to come up the mountain for what for what to see the cloud and just say okay now i'm going to stay here forever no 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 don't misunderstand the reason why god will call you up the mountain is so that he can send you down the mountain i think a few people got it <laughs> It's very critical. So he calls them up and, and, and many people immediately read that verse and we immediately conclude saying that, okay, the reason God called them up is so that they can preach. But this is the line they forget. Is that he appointed 12 so that they might be with him. Everybody say, so that they might be with him. So that what? So the foremost expectation of our Lord Jesus is that you be with him. But it is not so that you can be with him forever. He wants you to be with him so that now you're transformed by him. Now you look like him. Now you act like him. Now you stayed with him long enough that his fire is now on you. You have stayed there for X amount of time in the upper room that now the fire of heaven has located your GPS address and the fire has now come upon you and now he can send you out to Jerusalem, to Judea, to the end of the world so that you can be his witnesses. Look at your neighbor and say, the objective of fire is to send you out as a fire. Hello, no marakazia. All of a sudden, don't start thinking of what is going to be the name of my ministry. I need a logo. I need a website. (laughs) You can be sent out to your post office. You can be sent out to the grocery store. You can be sent out so that when somebody comes in contact with you, they come in contact with the fire of heaven. So please tell me what is your objective of sitting at his feet? Objective of sitting at his feet is to listen to his voice. <laughs> Mary sat at his feet and listened to his voice. Mary sat at the feet and listened to him. Listen to him. Listen to him. She sat at the feet and listened. Sat at the feet and listened. Because transformation, are you ready for this? Transformation happens as you listen to his voice. 
Transformation happens as you listen to his word. We don't want a revival and manifestations without the word of God. And I assure you, as the word comes, manifestations will increase. Encounters will increase. Because the recipe for transformation is listening to the word. Listening to the word. Something happens to somebody that is listening to the word. Sitting at his feet and listening. Everybody say, sitting and listening. The enemy wants to rush this generation. The enemy wants to what? Rush this generation. The enemy wants us to be a Sunday Christian. The enemy wants us to be the faithful midweek Christian. The enemy wants us to just listen to a little word and rush back to our normal life. But what happens to somebody that dedicates time, takes effort and energy to climb up a mountain? Oh, as exhaustive as it might be, they stay there in his presence and listen to his word. And now the fire in his words becomes part of them. I stand as the humble servant of the Lord and I declare every season of wasted time Time is over for you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every season of mediocre is over for you. You are entering into a season of seeing visions. You are entering into a season where you will know the opinion of the Lord. The season where you inquired and you did not hear is over in the name of Jesus. You shall inquire of the Lord and you shall hear his voice from Zion. The season where you have inquired, you have desired and saw nothing is over. The Lord shall wake you up in the middle of the night. The Lord shall wake you up in the middle of the day. And you shall gaze upon his beauty. I see the fire of God on the mountain top. I see the fire of God upon the mountain top. I see the fire of God upon the mountain top. Somebody shall transform me, Jesus. I rebuke every, every embarrassment inside of you, every shame every shyness every fear every intimidation every low self esteem I command it to burn on the mountain top in the name of Jesus when you go down your face shall be bright like Zato Rabasika the things that you feared before, you shall fear no more in the name of Jesus. Who is the word? In your Bible, who is the word? Talk to me, who is the word? And Jesus is fire. And you're listening to the word. And if that word is from the spirit, now the word has to set you on fire. You are becoming fire today in the name of Jesus. My goodness. Take it, 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 take it. Lante berebe, Father. Anybody responding to your word, let this word become true to them in the name of Jesus.
You know the Bible talks about hidden manna to him who overcomes will I give a hidden manna hidden manna because the enemy would like you to believe that that manna is accessible to everybody the enemy would like you to believe that everybody knows what manna is everybody eats the same manna the enemy would like you to believe that just because you have the bible you have access to the manna and then you read the verse like that and then you wonder if manna everybody has us to has access to the book how does the bible say that there is a hidden manna that is only given to people that overcome ah that is only given to people that persist overcome meaning there is a constant adversary there is a constant attack ah uh, and that that manna is given to people that overcomes that overcomes revelation 2 verse 17 he who has an ear let him hear what the spirit somebody say spirit, spirit. says to the churches ah to the one who conquers i will give some of the hidden manna some so that means there is manna that everybody is eating and there is hidden manna ah. <laughs> there is manna that everybody has access to and there is manna that is has to be given to you who is it given to to those who conquer to those who persist that those who don't quit look at a neighbor and say you can't quit now the lord is waiting for you to come up the mountain because there is a part who is the manna let's let's make it simple who is manna jesus so the lord is waiting for you to come up the mountain to give you the part of him that is hidden to others in the valley there we go mark 4 is 34 he did not speak to them without a parable but privately everybody say privately to his own disciples he explained everything so to others he gave them parables hidden information information that was hidden from them but to his disciples that he calls up the mountain when they pay a price to go where he is when they pay a price to sit at his feet at his feet information that others have not received is given to them I don't know if you got it. Yes. It's very critical, so I'm going to repeat it. There are places you can go with the Lord Jesus. In fact, when the disciples of John, when they came searching Jesus, they asked the question, "Rabbi, where do you live? Where do you what? Yes. Live. Show me the location." Somebody said, "Show me the location." I want to know where you are. That's where I want to be. You see, this is the difference between all Christians and some Christians. Are you with me? Yes. All Christians say, "Look, I'm I'm happy going to church once a week that itself you know i'm giving too much i'm so tired but i went to church i am a faithful christian their their greatest greatest joy is that they never missed church in their entire life that's their trophy that's their pride that they have never missed church but then if you ask jesus jesus what do you think about that he will say You mean my disciples they can't come to me once a week 
I need them to stay with me. The Lord is calling his bride in this season. He's saying, the only way I can give you that hidden manna is that you need to conquer what the enemy has done for ages. I talked to you about the hijacked kingdom some time ago. I, th- I believe it is on the, on the mobile app. You can listen to it again. The hijacked kingdom where the enemy hijacked this culture where work has become their God. Work. Work first. Everything else surrounds that. If possible, I will love God. But work has become my God. I'm a slave to work. But what is God doing? He's restoring intimacy back into the bride. He's restoring intimacy back to the bride. Somebody that would go home and start relaxing at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock and they're ready to play some games and watch some movie and go to sleep. Now you have changed your habit. You've changed your character. You're already anticipating God. It's 4 o'clock and you're already thinking, oh my God, I don't know what's going to happen today. 5 o'clock and you're thinking, what should I be wearing today? 6 o'clock and you're rushing your spouse saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. We are late, let's go. (laughs) What is God doing? He's resetting your desires. Oh church, do you hear me? He's resetting your purpose. He's resetting your heart. He's resetting your mind. But let me teach the ones that the Lord has brought here. I want you to know, God is going to give you that hidden manna. He's things that he has not given to people publicly. The Lord is releasing into your spirit privately. There is going to be a revelation about Jesus in your spirit that you've not had in the last 20 years of your life. A revelation of the Lord Jesus in your spirit, an understanding of the revelation of the Lord Jesus that is going to direct every path, every decision, every purchase, everything that you do, you wear, everything is now going to be governed by the power of Jesus that people around could not see but was revealed to you because you went up the mountain. On the mountain, on the mountain, on the mountain, child of God, on the mountain, the Lord will show you things that others have never seen. And yet they pray to the same Jesus. Yet they read about the same Jesus. Yet They profess the same Jesus but will not have the understanding that you have because you took time and effort to climb up that mountain and said, there must be more than this. Lord Jesus, there must be more than this. I want to know you more. There must be more than this. Lanta Manasaka. I want to know you more. I want to know you more. Listen, the verse says he gave them some of the hidden manna. Even when you eat the hidden manna, it will only still be some. (laughs) Meaning if you can conquer more, you will eat more. When you begin to conquer your flesh, you will begin to eat more. When you die to yourself, you're conquering your flesh, you will begin to have access to more revelations. Some of your flesh doesn't allow you to pray for 20 minutes. But when you conquer your flesh and now you're able to pray for 20 minutes, you will now have access to revelations that you never understood before. Are you understanding what I'm saying? When some of you struggle to worship and, and, and pray, you, you, you can do everything but you cannot clap hands. You can do everything but you cannot sing. You can do everything but you, you cannot dance like King David. When you let go of yourself and begin to conquer your flesh, 
and submit it to the feet of Jesus and you begin to worship the Lord like never before, you will begin to access to the part of Jesus. There's parts of Jesus that Christians have not access to him till today. Welcome, we are so grateful for the grace of God that has visited this program. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he sent his son, Jesus, and Jesus is the word. That means that when God wants to express his love, he sends his word to you. Isn't that so amazing and so powerful? So whenever the word comes, then deliverance will follow and you will always remember that you are loved by him. And now the word has come to you, has come to your family and your children, and you will never be the same again. If you've not partnered with us, would you take a minute and partner with us and visit our website, revivenations.org. Also take a minute to connect with us on our social media platforms. Until next time, God bless you and Shalom. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much He loved us, He gave up His only begotten Son. He is not looking for part-time Christians, nor a portion of surrender, or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because He gave us everything. Thank you for being part of this end time Jesus journey. Your partnership with Revive Nations allows us to reach nations with passionate, prophetic and powerful word from the Lord. If you have been blessed, would you consider giving to this ministry by visiting revivenations.tv. Enjoy hundreds of resources in multiple languages from Prophet Shaiju and Tinny Matthew while visiting revivenations.org. Connect with us on your favorite social media. Distance is not a barrier to God. Revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 